What's up guys? Good morning. Dave Moss Jr. here. And I just got out of my 40 degree cold plunge. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Sun's just coming up. It's a little bit of a cooler morning. 60 degrees outside, 40 degree cold plunge. Just got done with a nice workout, feeling good. But I need your advice. So if you know me, if you watch any of my videos or if you are my friend, family, you know I have chickens and I built a awesome chicken coop and it's been standing for over a year through two hurricanes, well, tropical storm and we missed a hurricane, but it's doing good. But I have 15 ducks now and with 15 ducks comes more responsibilities and I don't really like having my ducks and my chickens in the same coop. It's working, but 15 ducks, they're getting pretty big pretty quick. They poop a lot. So I'm building a duck coop and I wanna show you this duck coop and see if any of you out there have any advice for me. So let's go check this thing out. So every morning, I let my chickens out. This is the 16 foot Carolina coop. There's actually the entire build on my channel about a year ago. So you can check that out if you're interested in the Carolina coop build from start to finish. It's amazing. Got the egg hutch over there. I'm getting nine eggs a day. Let my girls free range every single day. They have access to everything. And it's great, the eggs are amazing. But now let's go check out the duck coop. So now down here by the lake, I built my kids an epic tree house. I did not document this, I just did it. Um, and underneath, it's a little bit lower. See, I'm six foot, so I wanted to make it to where over here, you could put some little kid swings, and there's my girls out there swimming in the lake. So this is six foot three inches, so I can walk underneath it. Down there's a little bit lower. So this is what I did so far last night. Built a little, it's kind of more of like a duck pen than a coop. Don't have a lot of predators out here. I did put hardware cloth into the ground. I ran out, so I got to get some more for this side. But three sides are tentatively done, about three quarters of the way, you know, halfway up this thing. I don't know, if, should I, here's the advice I need. So basically I built it like this, got my coop work silo. These are amazing. I am going to put a link in the description to these because I highly recommend those if you have more than one chicken and you don't like to feed them every single day or duck. But here's my theory. I'm gonna put a door here so I can walk in here and get their eggs. Hopefully they'll lay them in here. They probably won't. It's not a massive area, but I think it'll work for what I'm trying to accomplish. And I can always extend out if I need to out here and then let that be the door. Because what they do is they basically go out there swim around, have some fun in the lake. And then they waddle up here. Right now they're waddling all the way up to the chicken coop to eat. But I want them to waddle up in here and make this their world. So my questions to anybody out there who has experience with free range lake living ducks is, is this even worth it? Um, do I need to go all the way up? Do I need to fence this entire area in? Should I come out and make this just a open area for them? So those are my questions. If you have any advice for that, let me know. Yeah, so basically this isn't a video on anything specific. It's more of a question. I need your advice. So 15 ducks, building a coop right there, right by the lake, a little pen more. Um, just curious, is this gonna work? If you have any advice, please put all your advice in the comments below. I'm seriously gonna read all of it. Um, don't hate, if I'm doing anything stupid here, just let me know, but in a polite way, because be kind, being kind is nice. Other than that, hope you guys have a beautiful day. God bless.